Hey, this is Swagger doing a Dishonored walkthrough. This is on very hard. This is full ghost. No upgrades. No one killed. No one alerted. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to be running through the Hound Pits pub sections because they're pretty straightforward. They're really just kind of tutorial areas. I'm only going to show this uh, very first section from the very first one just because this is when you're going to uh, pop your achievement uh, for Dishonored for 5 Gamer Score, which is that uh, you've escaped Cold Ridge Prison. And then from there, let's just get right into High Overseer Campbell. Um, I'm going to do all the side missions. I'll point out the bones and runes that I'm not going to be able to get again because I'm not upgrading. I could upgrade, get them, and then reload, but then I wouldn't have them that way either, so that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. Just. Take your pick. Okay. Um, there's some rat skewers. Not that you're going to need it right away. Hopefully you're not injured. Ah, somehow I am at half, half health. Probably from escaping. Couple of rats. Again, this is going to be a full stealth, full sneaky, not kill anyone walkthrough. So this is going to take about seven times as long as if you're playing on easy and just blazing. I'm going to do all the side missions. Uh, so far I've been able to do them all uh, stealth. They make them a lot harder to do them that way, but uh, they are still possible. And we are going to get the paintings. It does. It tells you after you finish and again, civilians, uh, they're not going to be a bother. I'm like, oh, am I going to have to, do I have to choke her out or something? Oh, yeah, copper wire and some hagfish. Delicious. The Delicious. Have been closed and so I'm like, oh, do I, do, I have to, do I have to choke this girl out? No, but I can't no, steal her money. Oh, sorry, lady. I can't help you. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. You've helped me enough with your five dollars. Okay, so to just get going on the mission, we'd go up here. But there is a side quest with a um, granny rags. There we go. So we're going to go talk to her first, and actually I think these first two or three videos are going to be just doing her side missions, um, and Attention this is the first set of them, there'll be another set later in the game, at least one other set. But I can tell you, doing these two do not just uh, give you the achievement. Oh, more delicious hagfish. Come on, Granny. The overseers of the Abbey of the Everlast remain in service to the state and are empowered to So we're going to go ahead and uh, break into Granny's house here. Wherever necessary. We are thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous. Grab all her cool stuff. Uh, one, there's an achievement for helping Granny, and uh, two, she gives you. Uh, runes and bone charms and all the side missions. So th the side missions are worth doing. Even though since I'm running uh, complete stealth and flesh, I'm not going to actually upgrade anything. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, 
And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Use the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Okay, so before uh, we go take care of mm, Granny's situation with yes, the other gentleman callers, uh, we're going to go out the back door here and uh, we're going to learn. We're going to see this dude again. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Okay, so one rune added there. Um, hopefully you got the two that were in uh, the pub. So you should have three. And we're not going to open the door. Again, if we were doing this all just uh, shooting people in the face, then it wouldn't be a worry, would it? But we got to be stealthy, so let's grab all Granny's junk and steal all our money. And we're going to pick up a teacup, and we're going to carry that teacup upstairs. I told you the knives go on. And you're going to want to save uh, before you go outside. This isn't necessarily tough, but uh, you got three guys that are kind of looking at each other. So it's a good point to save. And then we're going to launch that teacup out here. Not too far. And make sure Blink is on. And there's three guys. So we're going to let them start walking away. And I'm going to Blink right behind one. Boom. And then uh, move on over. You could actually blink over to make it even faster. If you haven't gotten your thief yet, you can steal these guys' pouches, and that should be more than enough. I'm glad he's worried about that rat. And boom. So there we go. Make sure again that they are all unconscious. And just for safety's sake, I bring them all inside. These are long missions, and you know I don't want to alert anyone. Again, making sure they're unconscious, so that if because if they're dead, gotta restart. And then we don't need any uh, looky-loos, so let's uh, go ahead and close the door and uh, go talk to Granny to get our reward. On the left. You never listen. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. That's a great old lady. Good times. Good for you. Good to live in the past. I think the little birdies are fast. Ooh, I do like that present, though. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. 
Another lovely room carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. Crazy old lady. Okay, so we're going to continue on with the main mission now because we need to do that just to get to the next area. So if when you uh, put on this heart, you can see where everything is. And you can see there's a bone charm on the other side of the bridge. Uh, the problem with that is that it is you need to do a rat possession to do it. And since we're doing a mostly flesh walkthrough, um, I'm not going to be able to get that one today. What we are going to do is go take this dude out. And what I'm going to do is, just to get the achievement, there's a, a rat tunnel right here. Which is the first one that I believe I've seen. And this is one of the many ways that you're told you could get past this uh, wall of light. Uh, again, I'm doing a mostly flesh walkthrough. So what I'm doing is I'm going to try to find a rat. I'm going to save when I find the rat, possess him, get the achievement, and then reload. And uh, we'll go through it differently. But if you go in here, you're going to get a bunch of uh, little uh, guides here. Spring razors, which are pretty cool. Of course, we can't use them because we're not killing anyone. Little note there. And then also a rewire tour, uh, tool that we're not going to use also because we're not killing people that way. These are all things you would have to use to get the kill someone every way. So here it is, play your way pathways, and the one we're going to do first is we're going to go down below the bridge here, and there's always some rats hanging out because we want to use that tunnel to get our creepy crawly achievement. So I'm trying to find a rat. And again, as I've said before, the bad guys have amazing hearing on very hard, so it is slower walking around and crouch all the time, but it's going to save you a lot of obscure um, alerts from people, you know, two floors up and three rooms away that you're suddenly hearing through the walls, what's going on out there? So again, I'm going to save here. And then go into the menu, and under Powers, I'm going to buy Possession. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to activate Possession, and we're going to possess a rat. Oh, yes. <laughs> up the stairs and through the tunnel and there we go creepy crawly so we're gonna pop out of possession in the next area having passed the first wall of light uh, but we're gonna reload that save point Which hopefully isn't going to like screw us up. And there we go. Uh, we don't have the ability bought anymore, so we're hoping for the best. Instead, we're just going to use these uh, crates on the right side here. 
uh, to just jump over the wall of light because we're stealthy and sneaky like that. And again, be careful of those whale oils. Uh, they will explode. If you're doing a non-stealthy approach, uh, feel free to pick those up and throw those in people's faces. And we're going to, instead of continue on with the mission, we're going to work on Granny Rag's uh, side mission. We're going to go into that building over there on the left. And we'll continue later. <laughs>